Hello friends, I hope you all doing great guys. So friends, today we will talk with you about such a mode as PvP. I understand that many people do not play it because in this mode the balance always suffers. Very often players come across much stronger than you. But just as many who fight in this mode. What are the advantages of player who plays PvP? So guys, let's highlight a couple of factors. So the first one is that the player can receive a lot of crystals, which can easily freely spend on buying gems, guys. Participating in various events or spinning the roulette to get to the top reward for 100 spins. If you want to understand how many crystals you won in PvP tournament, you can see it in the table easy, guys. I will leave a link under this video. Everything simple there. Drive in your win rate and bet on how much you play PvP, I have to enter 100 or 40 crystals. The second one is that the rewards in PvP are really top. You can get golden tickets for which you can buy yourself the skins of the heroes that you need or random shards of the heroes, guys. You are now sitting and thinking, yes, everything is cool, top rewards, but how can I win more? Today we will talk about the top set that should be used in PvP. Friends, be starting to the top set, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, click on this like this video, this is the best reward for me guys. Thank you all, and we are starting right now. And so guys, a few words about these heroes. This is our Iris, Sylvian, Cat and Lina, that's all. All other heroes are less playable in PvP, friends. Well, and the most importantly, what kind of gear to put on yourself and what kind of weapon to take, I will tell you right now. So let's start with the fact that you can no put on pets at all. They are all no use in PvP mode, they are useful. They are just for beauty, guys. Uh, from when they came up with a boost from pets to heroes, then yes, the picture can change and you can take them with you to PvP, but for now they are useless for sure. Rings here is already more interesting, guys. You can use Lion Rings, uh, you will have more attack and more critical damage, but I will recommend you to use only Bull Rings, guys. They give you damage to enemies and in PvP your opponent is an enemy guy. Then damage protection increased by 10%, which is also very good. Well, if you have already developed your bull rings to the mythical state, it will give you plus 5 protection from damage from enemies. Those is turn out that the rings of the bull for the most part give you a lot of protection and a little damage. These are the best rings for hacking in PvP mode, guys. So now, guys, let's talk about the book and which one to take. I have not yet split the top book for you guys, but I will definitely tell you in the future. And so the best book in PvP mode is the Book of Enlightenment, or it's also called the Book of the Owl. Why is she top? Well, just uh, hanging here, because she also has a lot of protection in PvP mode. There are projectile projection and collision projection. Often there are such a players who simply run the swords and run towards you point blank. This is where this projection works, guys. Also, if you raise the Book of Enlightenment to the legendary state, you will receive plus 7 health. And you must understand, the more health you have, the more ten the tenacious you will be in PvP, guy. So your choice should stop only on this book and take this book of all. So let's move on, guys, and a few words about the bracelets. Such a bracelets as flashes, frost and thunder will give you your skills. For example, a thunder bracelet will hit the enemy, but friends, believe me, this is not so noticeable during the game, guys. Therefore, I do not use one of those bracelets. I still recommend that, that you use uh, either the quickly fire bracelet or the invisibility bracelet. These two bracelets give a very good attack boost. For example, mine, which is now on level 111, gives me 2690 attack and another 6% attack of the total. Well, guys, now it's time to talk about the medallion. 
he will give you a lot of health so you need to upgrade very very well and we also go from the defense guys i prefer to use a bulletproof medallion it will give you protection from projectiles when you are below 25 percent of health in the decisive seconds of the battle it helps a lot to unexpectedly take the victory guys well when you make this medallion mythical you will also receive an additional protection uh, of as much as 80 percent it's just great and awesome guys you probably already noticed that our set looks like a very cool defense defense wins pvp friends remember this so guys now the most interesting thing is the armor and weapons you can use a bright or dark rope they also have protection and you will do the right things you can also use a ghost clock that will freeze the enemy after damaging you but there is one uh, chest plate that opens up a lot of bonuses for you it's a very important here that will open bonuses for you as soon as he becomes mythical and yes, this is a problem. This is a golden beep. Of course, the problem of collecting it does not go anywhere. But as soon as you collect it, put it right away, guys. You will feel the difference with other ones. And so, in addition to health power, the breastplate will also give you 5% damage protection. It will attack opponents with flames as soon as they approach you and the most important thing is that the, the chest piece will give you the coolest buff when the damage taken is uh, significantly reduced for, two, two, uh, for just 2 seconds after getting it. So if you have this be be sure to use it guys. Well friends, the last and probably the most important thing is what kind of weapon to take in PvP mode. Such weapons as a crossbow, a soul are completely unplayable in PvP mode. The Hail of Sword is not bad only if you have a lot of defense and a lot of health power so that you can get closer to the enemy but the skill of the dwarf will not allow you to do this. The spear and the staff are used extremely rarely and I still would not advise you to use these weapons. There are only three weapons left, a bow, a boomerang and the scythe. Much to my regret, I have to throw out the boomerang as it doesn't work on the mythic state in PvP mode. And here we have two favorites, braid and the bow. The side is stronger but slower. The bow is fast but weak. What do you choose, friends? I prefer to play at the same with the bow. It has a critical damage of 50% and attack speed is very very fast. If you can point the cursor on the enemy, then it will be not difficult for you to play with this, with this bow. No wonder this weapon is the most balanced and very first in the game, guys. And so now you see a full set in PvP mode. If you have a, such a set, play PvP, make yourself a big win rate, collect crystals. So friends, I hope you like this video and you will win more than this set. Thank you all for watching this video. Stay tuned and see you very soon. Bye bye guys.